I don't think there's anything wrong with labeling yourself an entrepreneur. Are you doing things to connect dots, to grow businesses, to make things happen when others won't? Then you're an entrepreneur. Have you heard this question like, like, am I an entrepreneur? Have you seen that online? Am I an entrepreneur? Sure. Yeah. Is that not the dumbest question that people can be asking? Just like when I, in 2009, when I was asking like, hey, how do I build a brand as opposed to just a single person? I think people are like electricians who start companies or plumbers who sure. start companies or yeah. marketers who start right. companies or lawyers who start companies. Right. But people today set out to become entrepreneurs first. Mm -hmm. Sure. And then figure out whatever the craft is second. That, that should get you through week one. I think to a certain degree, it's how we define it for ourselves. Like I come from a family of entrepreneurial people. My grandfather came here with pennies in his pocket and became a dishwasher. Didn't understand a word of English or French and eventually bought the restaurant that he cleaned the dishes for. And then he bought a building, the same building that he and like five other families lived in, one little apartment. So was he an entrepreneur? He was certainly acted like one. His behavior was indicative of, of one. He had the hustle and the heart and the grit of one, but he didn't stand around asking himself that. But I'm sure that in his mind, he had an idea of the person he wanted to be. And if that helps you get to your goals, really understanding what you're trying to achieve each and every day, pushing that marker a little bit forward every day, then yeah, I think it's important to ask yourself these questions. An inner monologue of what you're doing is important. I think it's healthy. I think entrepreneurship is the greatest thing in the world. Right. I think it's a waste of time to ask yourself if you are enough. Am I an entrepreneur means, am I entrepreneurial enough? Your grandfather comes here with nothing and turns himself and builds the life that he wants to build. Do you think that crossed his mind? Do you think he stopped and asked himself that question? Or did he focus on what he had to do on the hustle, on the grind, on the work, on taking the risks, on building wealth and reinvesting it? So that way he can actually, it's, it's more respect. It's more hard work. It's more uh, tradition. It's more building something that he can allow other people in his family and for generations to come to, to live off of. It's more about honor than about titles. And somewhere we lost that, didn't we? So are you doing things to connect dots, to grow businesses, to make things happen when others won't? Then you're an entrepreneur. The thing is though, like my grandfather, the words will only get you so far, right? The, the amount of work and, and implementation and execution that it takes to, to take the word and then act on it, that's what's important. That's what you should never lose sight of. Because if you do, it's just, it's worthless. The idea is worthless. You need the implementation to grow, to become truly who you want to be. Yes, we will end it there. If you would like to see another video on amazing leadership advice, check it out right here on top of Louis' face. We'll put mm. it over Louis' face yep. and we will see you over there. <laughs> right above Louis' head. You can check it out. It's a great video sales. <laughs> <laughs>